Hey you guys, what's going on today? Today we're gonna do a, uh, I've been wanting to do something at my, my little wet bar. I've been wanting to, you know, show off my booze, show off my bourbon, show off the things that I got around the house. Of course, uh, more just to make it a, a better presentation more than anything. And what I've used in the past is actually just a, um, a, a spice rack. It's kind of like a tiered spice rack, one that you throw in a, in a cabinet and uh, you know, you used to be able to like, kind of see all your spices. And so that's one thing I've kind of been setting my, uh, my bottles on, you know, so you can uh, you can display whatever you want on here, whether it be, uh, you know, liquor bottles or, you know, decorations, I don't know. Um, but this is something I've been wanting to do. Um, I'll do this kind of in stages. I'm gonna at least, um, I'm gonna do about a two feet for this uh, big base one. I'm gonna do two feet long, um, and then I'm gonna stagger it and kind of make a, a tiered level system uh, on this. And I'm gonna do two, like I said, two feet on each one, you know, two feet long on each of the, one of these. I just got picked up some uh, some of the scraps they had at uh, Home Depot Lowe's, and uh, I'll eventually get to a. I'll, I'll do the cuts today, and then uh, I'll do a subsequent video. I'm not sure if I can get to it today, but I'm actually gonna do some of the staining of it. I've got some stain, uh, just kind of like a dark, dark kind of uh, stain, and uh, but yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'll do a quick uh, kind of a you know do a, do a, do a video and show the process of of. Uh, actually making this thing so uh, we'll go ahead and just do this so I do have my circular saw a ruler or a uh, tape measure so I'm gonna do two feet I've got just like a little angle here so I can give me some straight lines uh, outside of that um, I don't have any saw horses yet uh, I'm just using a uh, propped up box, and we're gonna, we're gonna uh, use a circular saw. Remember that it is gonna take a, an eighth of an inch off that part. Um, so we'll go ahead and line it up just a little bit. the straightest line on there but I'm gonna uh, do one one run this way that way and I'm gonna go ahead and flip the board over I'm gonna do the other run that way um, you know you when you're not cutting the whole length of this you get down to the end and you end up splintering it um, so normally you want to just give a little notch in there um, you don't have to go as deep as I did but uh, we'll just come on the other side that way it'll make a nice clean clean cut at the uh, the whole way and like I said not when you get down here and it wants to fall and break it'll splinter so Fairly clean cut. I'll clean that up uh, probably with a sander uh, here later, but uh, that's that's step one at least. So uh, I'll catch you guys uh, in a merger video here later. See you guys. Hey guys, we're back. So this is um, I actually forgot my the sander that I have. I actually broke it. So and I don't have another one. So I've just got some of the leftover sandpaper squares uh, that go with it. And like I said, I'm I'm just going for the rustic look. I'm not going for anything perfect. I just want something to uh, you know not leave splinters everywhere and just make it look a little bit. Uh, more nicely done so because I'm just gonna kind of come around the sides just rough it up a little bit get a little less uh, smooth get rid of all those uh, sharp splinters anywhere
That looks good pretty much the way I want it. Um, make sure there's nothing on the other side that would leave some uh, hard splinters there. I think that'll do it. Okay, so we're back for another one. This is the uh, other half that I cut off previously. Um, we're just gonna use it. It's, it's just south of uh, two feet, uh, just barely. I'm just gonna clean up this uh, side that I did take a little chunk out of. Uh, what I showed you didn't work perfectly earlier, but uh, worked good enough for me. So we're just gonna come back and uh, smoothen up these edges and uh, be off onto the next stage. All right guys, here's what we got so far. Uh, we've just got the two uh, two feet uh, pieces of uh, wood here. Uh, I just wanna have these, uh, kind of. this is kind of what I want. I might go for a third shelf, I'm not sure. I think I'm just gonna leave it at two right now. Um, but the only problem that we're gonna have, obviously, is um, on the side, you know, you can either nail it or if you wanna glue them, however you wanna make it work. Um, I'm obviously not going to be able to put any weight back here on the back rest. Obviously my wood's gonna uh, fall down on a display, so. Um, I don't really want to go the the wood uh, the nail route. Um, I don't really know if I have any glue here. So what I'm just going to do is actually take a, a two by four and just uh, end up propping it right book right behind it so that it can actually um, you know sit you know stack on it. So I'll just take one and end up putting it here up on behind on the bottom, and then that'll give it it's uh, that'll give it the uh, support that it needs. So I'll show you guys how to do that. One. All right, guys, we're back for the next step. Um, like I said, I just want to take a, uh, a 2x4, use it to prop up on the uh, back side of that so I can have something stable. And uh, we'll probably just leave it as, at that for now. And I'll come back here and um, I don't really have the time to, to do the stain and stuff today. So, um, but I'm definitely going to come back and I'll, I'll either add it on or um, I just won't make the video until uh, after I do that. But I'll at least use it temporarily until it all uh, gets put together. All right. And uh, as always, guys, I am work, working on a... Uh, I've actually got the tri DJI tripod and the extension uh, rod 
uh, based on a DJI Osmo Mobile. That's how I'm actually able to shoot this pretty nicely. Um, you know, it'd be hands-free and all that. So, um, just kind of want to keep you guys apprised of what uh, what equipment I'm using. That way, uh, you guys don't just sit there and wonder. You know, is he stacking stuff up on books? No, I used to. Do a little sand in. Just make it. Just make it look like the other one. This one's obviously going to be hidden, so. I'll show you guys uh, what the goal in mind is. All right, guys. So here's uh, here's the bar situation that we got. You can see uh, over here uh, by the blue bo Bombay bottle right here. Um, that's kind of the idea I was going for. Is see that little spice rack back there? That kind of worked temporarily for us. But uh, I kind kind of definitely want to do that over here on the uh, right hand side uh, where all the bourbons at and all that stuff. So go ahead and get you guys set up. And uh, sorry for the shaking and. Uh, We'll get going with it. You can see we originally had just some, some random stuff we found around the house, an old uh, tray there. We're using the prop stuff up on. All right, guys, welcome back for the uh, final product. Uh, obviously, you can see uh, we've, we've accomplished what we wanted to, to go for. We got the stair step level uh, kind of look there, similar to what we had over there on the left hand side with the spice rack. Uh, I think if you got it with another third shelf, it would look really cool. It'd come out another, you know, you know, three, four inches or so. Give me some more room. And, and that's probably what I'll end up doing later in the future to where I can maybe put, uh, you know, the, the, the remaining of the, the liquor that we have up there rather than just, or I don't know, I may just keep this to be a, to a bourbon side. I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, so, so that's what we're going for. Obviously, we've got the, uh, the support 2x4 in the back, and we've got these, uh, you know, so you can see we're, we're nice and sturdy up there. But anyway, uh, you know, you get to see what it looks like. 
Uh, final product will eventually be stained. I'll do that in another video, but uh, I don't, you know, and, and I'll show you guys what the uh, final look is like that. I've not, never actually stained anything like that, so uh, I'll just make another video and uh, pump that out there for you guys. Um, hope you guys like it. Uh, this was, you know, this probably took me 30, 35. I think my video is run, gonna run about 16 minutes. Uh, with the, the stuff, but I'd say by it, it took no more than 30 minutes to create this as long as you got the supplies on hand But anyway, I uh, hope you guys like it as always feel free to comment like subscribe down below and I uh, can't wait to see you guys in the next one. See you guys